Hey there, this is the Shadow Ranger, and I'm back with some news I just found that is cracking me up. You know how people always complain about TNA hiring ex WWE guys? Well, apparently, TNA is looking to hire indie guys, and not surprising to me, people are still complaining. Okay, here's the article. I'm going to put the link to the article in the description box. A indie promotion called uh, in Ohio called Absolute Intense Wrestling has been bashing TNA on their Facebook page because apparently over the past couple weeks TNA has offered several of their top stars um, contracts. Let me read you part of the article. Alright, here it goes. Apparently, TNA President Dixie Carter and her compatriots have finally started listening to the complaints and criticisms of fans, critics, and even homegrown stars that the company needs to develop new stars rather than relying on WWE castaways. While this may seem like good news for TNA fans and those who desperately want an alternative to WWE programming, the decision has begun to wreak havoc on the American independent scene. See, that's the part no one seems to forget. <laughs> that complaint about TNA hiring too many XWWE guys, it hurts many other people. TNA has actually decided to start listening and stop hiring so many XWWE guys. As you may recall, uh, about a week or so ago, the article was out that TNA is only going to hire XWWE guys if they were considered very big stars, which is why they have been which is why they haven't offered contracts to Haas and Benjamin even though Kurt Angle has been pushing to bring them in. All of you people who complain about them hiring too many ex WWE guys and calling it a WWE reject show well here's what happens when they start listening to you. Now when people get released from WWE they have to just work indies and t hopefully the WWE will offer them another chance. They can't go to TNA and make a decent check there because if TNA hires them Everybody, everybody complains. And now all the indie promotions are going to start losing talent because if TNA can't hire XWWE guys, whenever they want new talent, they got to hit the indies. So now the indie promotions are all going to get ransacked because TNA is going to hire all their best guys away whenever they need new talent because they can't hire XWWE guys anymore. And this indie promotion in Ohio, Absolute Intense Wrestling, is upset as you would expect them to be. TNA has hired some of the, several of their top stars contracts, and it says here um, the promoter has been launching a string of written attacks against TNA for this raid, and even called the performers who have accepted the deal sellouts. Um, some of uh, talents who've been there in this uh, promotion include Michael Tarver, Daniel Bryan. Caval and NXT season four rookie Derek Bateman. Of course, Daniel Bryan mainly is known from ROH, and Caval is mainly known from in uh, TNA. But you know, it says here. Here's a quote from the uh, AIW um, Facebook page. TNA is not advancing a career. Have you watched their product? Multiple guys on our roster and staff have been offered deals in the last week, so you can understand our frustrations. If it was WWE, we would be in full support. That is a life-changing opportunity. TNA is just a move in a lateral direction, going from being part of a rapidly growing company to whatever TNA is, a wasteland of fed ejects. Uh, fed meaning the Federation, World Wrestling Federation, WWE. So you hear what this person's doing? He's lamb he he's insulting TNA because they have a lot of ex WWE guys. But now that they're instead of now that they decided to instead look to the indie scene to bring in fresh faces, this guy still is angry because now they're taking his talent. Well, you didn't want them to take XWE guys. They got to get new talent from somewhere. They're going to take talent from the indies. Now the indie promoters are going to be angry because they, and really they shouldn't be mad at TNA. They should be mad at all of TNA's critics. Because so many fans and so many wrestling critics have just have been bashing TNA for years about too many ex WWE guys, too many ex WWE guys, too many ex WWE guys. So now when TNA has finally decided, okay, then we're not gonna hire a bunch of so so many ex WWE guys anymore. 
We want new talent. We're hitting the indies. Now the indie promoters. I'm sorry. This is cracking me up. Now the indie promoters are mad. Because TNA is offering. Is, trying, is taking talent. This is great. Oh my god. You know. And I'm reading this article. And I'm reading the comments. And I'm reading comments from people bashing TNA for getting talents from an indie promotion. The same people who bashed TNA for hiring ex-WWE guys are now bashing TNA for not hiring ex-WWE guys. I should play the doll it don't add up clip again right here, but I'm not going to. This, this, see, this is why the IWC just confuses me so much. So, so where are TNA supposed to get new talent? When when they want to bring in new talent, when they look at people and they come and say, okay, there's not so much we can do with this guy anymore, we're going to release him. How are they supposed to bring in new talent? So, so when they brought in XWWE guys, people complained. Everybody complained. But now they've been, they're instead going to hire, going to scour the indie scene to find new talent and people are still complaining so so where else do you get talent I mean does TNA have to get guys straight out of wrestling school and put up and bring them to TNA I, I guess that's what they're going to have to do TNA is going to have to open their own wrestling school and, and get guys straight out of wrestling school send them to their own little wrestling developmental territory that's the only way they're going to be allowed to get talents now we, we, you know, if you wrestle the indies, you can't go to TNA. If you wrestle in WWE, you can't go to TNA. So, so the only way TNA can get talent is, well, if you're an indie wrestler, that would suck. You might actually, you know, indie wrestler might would like to be in TNA. Maybe an indie wrestler would like to be to get a slightly higher paycheck and and have national, in, international. Actually, you know, TNA seen in many different countries, international exposure. I mean, dude, I live in Korea. Just saying. I, I, I'm cracking up over this. I don't know. I mean, and I, I mean, I'm reading the comments here, and they are these people on this website are just bashing them for t TNA for for um for for getting t talents from the indie scene. I guess the moral of the story is, you know, everything has a side effect. You know, people, I guess this is kind of like a life lesson. Even the things you think are good hurt someone else. You know, if, if you have world peace, all the people who make weapons go out of business. If you discover an alternative fuel to run your cars, all the oil companies go out of business. If you cure all diseases, all the med all the um, pharmaceutical companies go out of business, and all those people who worked it lo lose their job. If you discover a cure for the common cold, Tylenol and Robitussin and and Vix Forty Four, they all out of business. And if you complain, and if you tell TNA, hey TNA, stop hiring ex WWE guys, then all then they're gonna raid the Indies. <laughs> Take all the handy talent. This is great. This is fantastic. I, I mean, this is the best example of all the stuff that I say about the IWC. TNA is actually listening to all the people who tell them stop hiring these WWE guys. They start and they decide to stop. They go to the Indies to find new talent. And everybody's still mad. <laughs> is, is there anything that TNA can do that people aren't going to complain about? I, I, I think people have decided to just complain about anything that TNA does. You know, you know I guarantee if TNA had a new policy, absolutely no more hiring ex-WWE guys. 
And then they say, you know what? We're not going to write the indies anymore. We're going to, if TNA decide, we're going to open up our own wrestling school. And just train guys ourselves. We're going to get Ric Flair and Sting to run the school and train all the guys. I mean, hey, you, Ric Flair and Sting are training you. You're going to learn something good. So that's where we'll get our talent. If you, Our talent will only come from people trained in our school. People would still complain because now TNA isn't giving indie guys a shot. Dang. <laughs> Read the article. I'll put the link in the description box and leave your comments.